anime genre is a very unique style of animation where characters are often defined in these very simplified forms that really animate their emotions and qualities and this is particularly true for the chibi style character design. Now chibis are basically the character that is defined in a more simplified or exaggerated version of itself to convey a more quirky aspect of the anime character's personality. Chibi drawings are also just really fun because it's a great way to kind of work out a very unique animation style within an anime character and in doing so we find how to strategically minimize our details within the various features of the character to represent this more childlike playful quality within the anime character design. So with that being said, hey guys my name is Matt, welcome to another unique video from artincontext.org where we explore various art related topics and in today's tutorial we will be going through a very unique part of the genre of anime and that is chibi character design. Now we're going to break down the process into two sections focusing on how to represent a female character with this chibi quality or characteristics. So the way in which we're going to start is we're going to start to form the chibi character by simply shaping the body parts in three segments. Now we start by establishing three evenly sized circles on top of one another which will simplify the body into three even segments. Now naturally again with chibi characters we are kind of giving them a more doll like structure, um, a very childlike structure so the proportions start to become more reduced to a very simplified shapes. So basically we will start by establishing these three evenly sized circles on top of one another which will simplify the body into these even segments. Now the three different segments will establish the placement of the head, the body and the legs. Now the head of the chibi, specifically the chibi art style, is generally a rounded bean like shape whereas the body is more of an elongated bean like shape. Again we do want to make sure that these shapes are simplified into very evenly sized segments and in doing so it gives it a more baby like quality which is unique to the chibi style character design. Now the legs of the chibi character will extend from the bottom section of the body bean shape into the lower third circle. The arms of the chibi character will also extend from the body but from the sides of the body bean shape. Now as we continue into the next step where we start to add in features to the head, the head of the chibi can be drawn in many ways, however we can play around with the hairstyle and how it sits on the head. Now the hairstyles tend to be quite playful and cute to emphasize the quality of like this cute doll like uh, character. Again chibi characters are the reduced emotional state of a anime character which could be otherwise more serious in a more realistic type of drawing but these chibi characters are kind of moments where the character is quirky and playful and therefore is reduced to their childlike state. Now the eyes of a chibi are generally large to exaggerate the baby-like or childlike quality of the chibi character and this makes them often quite circular in shape and large in proportion to the head. The large eyes are iconic in terms of how the features of the face are represented in the chibi character style so we really want to make sure we emphasize the eyes. The eyes will be the largest feature of the face as well however we can play around with how the hair might slightly fall over the eyes so this is where we can play around with hairstyles, how it serves the character and ultimately how it amplifies that childlike quality within our chibi character design. Now with the mouth we can make the mouth quite um, petite or small, generally the mouth is much smaller in scale compared to the surrounding features and this kind of gives the mouth a less voluptuous quality which is often more associated with an adult female structure. So to emphasize the baby like features we can add highlights as well to the eyes of the character to enhance their glassy nature. Um, this just gives a glistening eye effect to the character and just gives it more of a childlike quality. The eyes also tend to merge onto the eyebrows, however you can Play around with this so there are these kind of fundamental concepts of large eyes smaller mouth but you can play around with how you represent them and the same can be said with the nose so the nose is a very optional feature with chibi characters with no nose it kind of uh, is okay as well because it is basically representing that very simplified um, petite quality within those features or if you do add a nose you can consider maybe putting in a very subtle shadow to represent or suggest a nose however it is important that we keep the eyes much larger in comparison to the nose and the mouth but as we continue we can also start to emphasize the main feature that stick out. So this is where we can start working around the fundamental feature shapes and sizes and how they are drawn. So we can add a little bit more dimension to the structure of the hair as it falls onto the face. But as we move on into the next step uh, where we start to shape the features of the body, the body of a chibi character is very doll-like or baby-like, uh, meaning that the features are generally stubby and minimalistic. So this is where we really want to maintain that bean-like shape to create a body structure. But again, we really want to 
maintain this very minimal stubby like quality within the body features so this is why we use those bean like shapes to kind of create the body structure and we want to keep the features as uh, simplified and stubby uh, very similar to a childlike structure as much as possible now the next step we're going to move on to is adding clothing to our chibi character and clothing is another major aspect of a character design in general so if you are basing your chibi character off of an already existing character obviously you can draw inspiration from that particular character however as we continue the chibi clothing design is really about how it emphasizes the personality traits of the character that you are trying to get across now we want to think about body formation and how different attire forms around the shape of the body in this case we're working with these very simplified bean shapes within the actual character physique so this can be a combination of a button shirt and a skirt um, or something kind of more button shirt and pants like depending on whether we are kind of creating a more feminine or masculine representation within the actual attire or enhancing the feminine or masculine qualities you will also want to think about body formation and how different attire forms around those bean like shapes so thinking about how pants will become kind of tapered towards the edge of those very petite feet um, and so on for the arms in many ways clothing is another aspect of contextualizing the identity towards either more feminine or masculine qualities again chibi characters can be quite androgynous looking or baby like so making the clothing kind of work with the character is a major contextualizing feature so try to think of forming the clothing in different segments utilizing the shape of the bean like body parts to assist you again try to imagine how clothing would actually fall on those bean like shapes so we are kind of making them kind of sit closely to the body but there are many ways to represent baggy clothing tighter clothing um, in this case we're just working with a very simplified idea of how clothing sits on the actual bean like shape once you have worked out the shape of the different items of clothing you can then start to enhance them with some line work and tonal variation to bring more shape to the garments as we work our way down to the feet again we really want to make sure the feet are simplified so try to think of the feet being a little bit more stump like and petite especially for female character drawings um, and then the last thing we can do is outline the chibi character features so lastly we can proceed by going over all the details of the character one last time making sure we outline and shade the various features to finalize their shape and form now again as we proceed with this chibi drawing exercise creating a chibi character in color is the next step so we can now create another chibi character this time making a male character so we can just focus on a male character for now however now that we understand the principles of a chibi character design we can apply these concepts to a male chibi uh, unique character design and kind of work with color integration so the way in which we start once again is by establishing three evenly sized circles on top of one another from here we can already start to draw in the bean like shapes of the various features so try to keep your sketch um, quite light at this point while you work out the different features of the character once again the intention is to allow yourself to play with the identity of the character with the previously learned principles so thinking about hairstyle enlarged eyes and clothing as these contextualizing features for your male chibi character drawing the next thing we're going to do is refine the character so we can now start to refine the character by going over the different features starting with the head once again um, and this is where we think about how the hairstyle affects whether the character may be a little bit more feminine or masculine in this case we are kind of representing a male character so we can kind of keep the hair short maybe kind of in a very simplified classic type of male figure hairstyle um, but that is completely up to you we also want to maintain the quality of enlarged eyes to represent the baby like features within the face which is an iconic quality of the chibi character however we can play around with the expressions on the face and the choice of clothing of the character but we do want to make sure we are keeping these baby like features as these main um, things that do define it as an actual chibi character design now as we continue we want to start playing around with color combinations so when it comes to filling in the colors of the character you want to think about how different colors have different effects on the character we also want to think about how different colors work within different color styles or clothing styles in this case we can see that having a blue coloration in the pants does give the impression of denims so you kind of do want to think about it to that effect like blue kind of represents denims or darker colors represent maybe something like slacks something more formal that is really up to you again and therefore represents maybe kind of variations in terms of style and how different items work together so in that sense looking at some reference images of anime characters and kind of clothing design is a good idea to just get some inspiration for your chibi character 
We also want to think about how the clothing sits slightly different on a masculine chibi character and how it suits the rest of the attire. In this case, we see that a pairing of a more casual top section works well with denim-like pants. And as we proceed, we can then start thinking about tonal variation for shape. So this is where with clothing, we also want to think about how shadowing and how shadows kind of really emphasize the three-dimensional quality within the clothing. And as we continue by integrating darker tonal values of the different colors represented, we maintain the right coloration whilst creating shape within the fabric. So we want to think about emphasizing these qualities through the shadow formations within the clothing. And when it comes to facial features, we can apply the same kind of concepts by working with various tonal values. We can add a variety of different layers to the hair and facial features to emphasize their structure. Within the eyes, we can create gradient shifts that become slightly lighter from um, the bottom to the top so again we can also kind of create a shadow like quality near the top of the eyes to represent that idea that maybe the brow ridges are causing a shadow onto the eyes themselves so we really want to emphasize and maintain also a highlight within the eyes to further emphasize that big baby like quality the idea is to work through the character and add color to various features to represent highlights and shadow formations and this is a concept we apply throughout um, all aspects of the actual chibi design from clothing to the face features and especially the facial features really emphasizing that detailing of highlights and shadows in the eyes is just a great way to enhance the chibi character design remember we want to maintain shadow formation within all the features so really try to take your time with building up these tonal variations and kind of exploring color variation within your actual chibi character and then lastly there are actually no rules to creating a chibi character again these are just kind of ideas and concepts to work with to assist you in your chibi character design but allow yourself to experiment with different color combinations as well. Just keep in mind that the clothing style in conjunction with the color choices will affect the personality and overall quality of the character design. Um, but otherwise guys, there you have it, how to draw chibi characters through a few simple steps. And once you know how to form them, the process of creating variations in your chibi anime characters for both uh, masculine and feminine kind of character designs becomes much easier. Some key things to take away, remember that we are kind of working with this layering process, forming it in its fundamental shapes, shaping out the actual figure, and then building up the actual layers from clothing, and then kind of working in details like shadow formations, maybe line work, um, highlights, and the same applies to how you do so through a coloring process. If you did like this video, please do let us know in the comment section below whether you are interested in similar or related topics, maybe in anime, drawing, character design, you name it, we will get to it. And you can show your support by liking and subscribing. This helps us to grow our channel and that enables us to make more art related content for you guys, which we love to do. Um, but otherwise, thanks again for tuning in. That is it from me today. Until next time, cheers.